my name is Amanda Walsh and I am a senior at Florida International University. I am currently enrolled in a class called Theories of Personality and I am doing a video project on Karen Horney and her relational theory. Um, I'm going to be talking about three interpersonal orientations um, that help you deal with uh, basic anxiety and basic hostility. Okay. I want to start off by talking about Karen Horney. She was born in Hamburg, Germany on September 15, 1885. She had a very rough childhood growing up. Her father was very aggressive towards her and her brother, which actually ended up causing her to have turmoil in her life, depression, repression towards her father, repressive memories, repressive emotions. Um, anger towards him, um, which she ended up becoming a psychoanalytical patient of Carl Abraham. She studied at the University of Freiburg in 1906, where she received her psychiatric degree in 1915. She moved to New York in 1934 and became an instructor at the New York Psychoanalytical Institute. Um, she was then forced to resign as a uh, teacher, and she was also said to be a communist. Um, she was a founder of the American Journal of Psychoanalysis and was also said to be a founder of feminine uh, psychology. Um, and she also studied Buddhism in Japan, which is pretty interesting. And then she died on December 4th, 1952, which is pretty sad. Now I want to go over the relational theory. Um, to start off with, Horney believed the unconscious to be a factor in personality, um, just like Floyd, but she really focused on unresolved interpersonal conflicts. And then I want to talk about basic anxiety. Basic anxiety is when a child feels hopeless or isolated, vulnerable due to inadequate parenting. And then basic hostility is when a parental neglect and rejection makes a child angry or repressed feelings. There are three interpersonal orientations. The first one is moving toward people. The second one is moving against people. And the third one is moving from people. The first orientation I want to talk about is moving toward people. Um, basically, this causes an individual to seek acceptance and affirmation from others. Basically, these individuals from this orientation are described as extremely clingy. Uh, they seek out approval and love. They need affection, uh, love from a partner, a friend, a lover. And they also rep uh, repress anger, um, competition, or dominance. And they feel helpless and weak. This is the slide. attribute um, moving toward people to my friend Michael. He is extremely clingy not only to me as his best friend but to his other friends and family. He has to always be in communication and always see us. He can't be alone. He can't not talk to anybody. Um, he also needs acceptance and approval. He often writes me to make him feel good about himself, to make him feel validated. He asks me questions such as <clears throat> if what he's wearing is okay, how does he look, um, if he's smart, uh, how does this paper sound, etc. Um, he really needs affection from his friends and family. Um, he also feels helpless and weak because he has this... Uh, problem with living in South Florida and it makes him feel like he's stuck here and if nobody likes him and he's not doing the things that he wants or is being validated, he feels extremely helpless. The next um, orientation I want to discuss is moving against people. This one emphasizes dependency, hostility, and the need to control individuals and have power. 
people in his orientation are described as being difficult, mean, domineering, or aggressive. They need to be successful, they need to be admired to feel self-worth, to feel good about themselves in society. Uh, they often choose partners to increase power, wealth, and success. And lastly, they need to be right. They have to always win. They can be defiant, arrogant, or even vindictive. I would actually attribute um, moving against people to my mother. She is a very strong individual. She can come off across as being mean or difficult to handle, but she means well. She is extremely aggressive and dominant. She has to control everything. She controls my life, her significant other's life. She's always telling me what to do or how to live my life and others. And even when random people are talking, she jumps in and tells them her opinion or what she feels is right. She takes on leadership uh, jobs because it helps her out. Um, she has to be successful. She has to have a good paying job or that looks good to have a good feeling of self-worth. If she does not or if she's unemployed, she feels extremely bad about herself. Um, her boyfriend is actually um, very wealthy and helps to improve her status in um, society. So she does choose a partner to increase her power and success. And she, like I said again, she always has to be right. She, I can't. If I'm arguing with her, I don't even try because I know everything is her way or the highway, as you would say. Um, she can come off as arrogant, but that's just her orientation. The third and last orientation I want to discuss is moving away from people. This one emphasizes separation from others. Antisocial behavior, hostility. Um, people in this orientation are described as being indifferent, cold, non caring, self sufficient, counter dependent. Basically, I don't need anyone. Um, they are emotionally uninvolved and detached and very sensitive to influence, advice, and are self reliant. I would attribute moving away from people to my very good friend, Sarah. She is a very independent person. She sticks to herself. She knows what she wants in life. She knows that she doesn't need anyone to succeed. Um, when I bring her around people, she will stick to herself. And I'm basically the one who needs to go towards the people, be, be social while she's antisocial. Um, she can come off as being cold, especially when I come to her with my problems or stories, she seems very dismissive, basically as if she doesn't care about what I have to say and it reverts back to herself and, you know, it's all about her. Um, she does have a problem with relationships that she hasn't had one in a very long time. She tends to be, um, whether it be a, a romantic or a friendship, she seems emotionally uninvolved and detached and especially with relationships, um, I think it's a 50-50. Both parties have to care about e each other, or otherwise there's a problem there. Um, like I said, she is self-reliant. She depends on herself. I would say that I am geared towards moving towards people. I have always been a very clingy individual. Um, ever since I was a little girl, I have always clinged to my mother, always had to be around her or people or friends. Um, even to this day, I am extremely clingy to my boyfriend. I have to always be around him, hang out with him, see him every day. I have to validate that he gives me affection, that he wants me, he needs me, he loves me. I have to feel affection from my friends. I have to feel validated. I have to feel wanted from everybody. If not, I feel like it's the end of the world. I feel depressed. I feel helpless. It's just not a good feeling. <laughs> But anyways, those are the three interpersonal orientations, moving toward people, moving against people, and moving from people. And I want to leave off with my references. I started off with pictures um, in chronicle order and then all the information where I retrieved everything from. And thank you for listening to my video project.